Electric vehicles are at the forefront in the battle against climate change and top of mind for us with Tesla's headquarters moved to Austin. Yet these cars still need resources to power their batteries. That resource, nickel and lots of it. NBC News tracked nickel mine from the Philippine rainforest all the way here to the Tesla factory in the United States. But this mining is shrinking the rainforest and polluting the waters. I did have a chance to chat with NBC News' Jake Ward, who has a reminder that even clean energy can come with an environmental cost. Is it your feeling that, that we simply have to trade off some bits of our planet in order to have the life we want to build here? The, I think that the reality is, unless you can grow it or unless you can make it in a lab, you got to mine it. But yes, I, mean, I think human development has been a series of trade-offs over the years. And Jake, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Tell us a little bit more about this nickel mining and really the impact that it's having on the environment. Well, it is extraordinary, Jennifer, to look at the explosive growth, first of all, in the electric vehicle market. Right now, they account for maybe 4% of vehicles on the road in the United States. But by the year 2025, the estimate is that that could be as high as 30%. That is, of course, good news from the perspective of people who want to cut down on carbon emissions from our tailpipes. But our nearly years-long uh, investigation with the Pulitzer Center showed that, in fact, there is a tremendous environmental cost. We went to a Philippine island, considered one of the most beautiful, pristine places in the world, and saw how a mining operation there that pulls nickel out of the ground to create the raw materials for batteries is expanding and expanding, and with it may be causing not only untold, but perhaps totally irreparable damage to one of the world's most beautiful places and a rainforest, which, as you know, is one of the keys to fighting climate change and keeping our planet healthy, Jennifer. And what exactly will this mean for the future of the electric car industry? Well, this is the thing, right? We have always sort of believed that doing away with normal emission vehicles was going to solve the climate problem. But as you heard in my conversation there with that executive from the Rio Tuba mine, you know, it is basically the case that anything we build is going to come at some sort of environmental cost. In this particular case, we traced the actual pulling out of nickel from some of the world's most beautiful places, its processing abroad, and then the way it makes its way into American vehicles here in California, where I am, and in Texas, where you are, that is actually coming home in a way that you and I are part of. And so all of that turns out to make the electric vehicle future a much more complicated and much less environmentally innocent thing than I think we understood.